Hello, this is Dr. Shanta Smith bringing you week two of 90 Days to a Healthier Me. So again, we're working on and we're challenging ourselves to be the best that we can possibly be. And so in order to do that, we're going to recap and take a look at what took place last week, what worked, what didn't work. So one of the main things is to get started, to make sure that you've accepted your challenge and that whatever areas that you need to improve upon or that you want to get, want to get better in, that you're really focusing in on that. So our food for thought this morning comes from Iyanla Van Zandt. And she says, I am receptive to the idea that I always have a choice about how I respond to experiences in my life. If you have ever thought of yourself as a victim, you will have difficulty trusting yourself, God, or anyone else. As long as you are a victim, you will have someone to blame, someone to hold accountable for what went on and what is going on in your life. Sure, something unpleasant happened. That was then. This is now. There is no need for you to remain a victim. As long as you are a victim, you take no share of responsibility for who you are, what you do, or how you feel. You see, victims do not respond in choice. They react in fear. As long as you are in fear, you cannot trust. So I want us to just stop briefly for a moment and just really reflect upon that and think about that. So if we're in a mode where things have transpired and happened in our lives, and it could be anything, it could be something as simple as, for example, this camera is going to fall because of my cat. And again, you'll probably see my cat in here a lot because he likes to just interrupt me while I'm doing things. But using the cat as an example, he interrupts me while I'm working. For whatever reason, he does that, but I still need to move forward and complete the task at hand. So whatever challenge you're experiencing, and like I said, you need to do better in that, you can't have a victim mentality and be fearful to move forward. So what is it that's causing you to not progress? What is it that's causing you to stop taking the chance or being able to risk having something better, being better, and doing something with your life? What are you fearful of? We should not be fearful of anything but fear itself because fear is really the thing that is holding us back. So what are you afraid of? Are you afraid of being successful? Or are you afraid of being better? Stop blaming people for other things or stop blaming your circumstances or stop blaming situations. Just put the cookie down if it's the cookie that you need to put down. Just wake up on time if you need to wake up on time. Just make sure you complete your homework if it, you need to complete your homework. Say no if you need to say no. If you don't need to explain yourself, don't explain yourself. But really take a look at fear. Look at fear in the face and tell fear, I fear you no more. I am no longer your victim. I am going to make the necessary changes in my life to be the best that I can possibly be. So this week, I really want us to focus on just really accepting who you are. If you haven't set your goals for over the next 90 days, sit down and take the time to set those goals and to really focus. Just eliminate that fear. And when, once you see that fear removing itself and leaving the building, you begin to regain that consciousness of being who you truly are and who you were truly meant to be. You'll begin to trust yourself, believe in yourself, and do what is necessary to make the necessary changes in your life to live the best life that you can possibly live. Again, we each have a choice. We're each given 24 hours in a day. It's how we spend that time and what it is that we do with that time. Nobody gets more time than another person. We each are afforded the opportunity every single day. If we don't take advantage of that opportunity every single day, we're wasting our time. So in essence, you're wasting your life. So what are you going to work on this week to help you reach those goals and to help you walk into your purpose and embrace who you were truly meant to be? I am Dr. Shanta Smith, the essence of education, and continue to be the best you that you can possibly be. And in 90 days, you will be a healthier you. Thank you.